first thought as soon as you begin posting trot needs to be rhythm that you have a, a steady steady tempo so you can have a good rhythm That's it. They have to work like clockwork. Once you have that, then, then you can develop and come onto the bit. The horse can become supple and loose. If he's, if he's at all irregular in the rhythm, goes fast and slow or whatever, then you have ver it's very, very difficult to develop a steady contact to the bit. So first, the steps have to be even. Don't push the horse too much forward in the beginning. You see, that's, in my opinion, this is already too fast for a working trot to start with. This way, it's much more difficult that the horse relaxes. Take him a little bit back, keep him calm, and let him stretch. So, that is much better. Not faster than this. What we ask in a working trot is a well-balanced, calm pace. Here at this level already, you want to see the back start to swing. And you want to feel it as a rider. You want to feel a swing through the back in a, in a nice, loose feeling. You're, the, the horses should become easier and easier to sit because they give in the back and they're relaxed. They're not tight through the kidneys or, or on the back. And then when you sit on them, they're very soft. And it also helps to go in a big circle in between, where the horse has to bend a little bit. But you bend the horse just by indicating that he should go around, not too fast. Lisa, in the beginning, he can come just a little bit lower with his neck. Let him stretch a little bit more over his back. I would say if you exercise a horse, you mount the horse, you start, you should do these exercises for about 10, 15 minutes including canter and trot again. That's the time the horse needs really to get relaxed, to get warmed up. Then he's ready to work. You can see from the movement of the chestnut horse now that he already is much more relaxed than in the beginning. Look at his back. The back starts swinging. You see how the hind legs come along? It's interesting to watch during this work the, the increased length of stride and, and the way the, the hind legs loosen up. But also if you look at the movement of this horse, he's already better than in the beginning. More supple, more natural. With a horse like this, with a black one here, it's quite important to work on circles because it makes it easier. Makes it easier for the rider, the horse quicker accept this and gets relaxed on a circle than on a straight line. You can see it immediately. <laughs> Yeah, any bending line makes them have to balance more. Now what we'll do with these horses is start moving up on the scale a little bit. Okay, and as you're coming down the long sides, a couple transitions to a halt. More pressure with the right leg, but don't go forward. Correct it every time. That's better, yeah. Okay, that was good. But not back. Now touch him on, on the left before. Yeah. You should always correct the horse that, so that he stands square before you move off. The horse has to know 
that that's the way he has to stand, square, before you move off, because otherwise the horse gets used to stand like this and it's difficult to correct them. In this one, Lisa, make sure that you stay, feel the horse more with your legs, okay? For the transition, take your legs a little bit back and press on the horse and be soft with your hands so, so that you bring him, f yeah, a little bit more pressure here on my side. No, not pulling on the reins. You have to give a little bit the reins. The horse should never step backwards. Never. And again, legs on. Give, give, give. Yeah. And now yeah. again, touch him on the left. Just on the left, a little bit. Oh, yeah. And then you have to be very soft with the hand. And same again. thing again. Do it with, yet yeah, feel yeah, it with your didn't, legs. Good, he okay. Didn't stand square. Good. Pat him. Uh, and practice one halt again down the long side. Yeah. And Carol, a little bit too, that was a little bit too hard coming into that. A little bit softer, everything. Yeah, yeah, and with the left yeah. leg there. Don't hold him back with the reins. You, you can see the horse wanted to do it right. And the rider kept the horse from doing it right, just with the rein.